Today we're going to be talking about flower power. <laughs> we're going to um, go ahead and take the infused flower oils. Last week or last video I showed you how to make a flower infused oil and if you missed that we'll link to it above here. But we used these five flowers. We used calendula rose, lavender, chamomile, and yarrow. And in that video I explained why they're so good for the skin. Uh, and this is the oil that's infusing right now. It's not ready. It's, it's uh, brand, brand, fresh and new. What we do have here are uh, single herbal infused oils. And I'm going to make a flower infused salve with, by combining these single oils today. And I'm going to be adding some essential oils, flower oils also, uh, so that I can uh, use this as a, a perfume or a little body salve, moisturizing for dry skin, a number of different reasons. But this is going to be one of the gifts I give to people this year. So what I've got here is yarrow infused oil. This has already been strained off and look at that gorgeous color. This is a little bit of calendula infused oil that I have left over. I actually have some more uh, bottles in there but I think I'm only going to use that much in this salve. And then we've got some lavender infused oil here and over here I've got chamomile infused oil. Beautiful. And here I've got rose petal infused oil. Beautiful. Just so lovely. I've got some beeswax because you do need these wax for this. All right, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I need to measure this out because usually my mason jars have, I like the ones with the measuring marks on them because it's so much nicer to, like you don't have to measure anything. <laughs> Oops, my water's boiling. i turn this down. So I've, I've got a double boiler uh, situation going on here. So I've got a pot and you don't want it boiling. It is rapidly boiling right now. I'm going to turn this down, but this is where my uh, I'm going to go ahead and melt my oils together with the beeswax in a second. So that's why that's going on there. All right, this is a one half cup measurement, and I'm just going to go ahead and measure out one half cup of this calendula infused oil here. I was hoping to use it all up, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> that's okay. Maybe I'll do something else with that. Okay, so there's that, and then I've got my yarrow infused oil, and I'm going to grab my measuring spoon, one half cup, there we go. Yarrow oil, just gorgeous. Mm. I have to wipe that off. It smells good. <laughs> it smells delicious. Okay, get my lid back on there. Put that aside. Now, these uh, still have the flowers in them. So obviously, I'm going to need to strain them unless you want plant matter in your salves. Some people don't mind that, but you know, if I'm spreading a salve on my skin, I kind of would like to avoid the flowers. <laughs> so just go ahead and strain this out. I'm gonna approximate about a half a cup. I do have a measurement on here. I think I got it. I think I got it perfectly, actually. It says four ounces, wonderful, amazing. <laughs> that worked out really nicely. Let me set my strainer over here on top of this jar so it doesn't get all over. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour. Let me just double check it. Oh yeah, it's pretty close. Ooh. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of that. It's just a, probably another tablespoon or so. Nice. There's my lavender infused oil. Get my strainer back over here. Get my lid back on my lavender this over here and now I'm going to go ahead and do my rose. I love my rose infused oils. It, they're, they smell actually pretty good and they're wonderful for the skin. And I forgot that I did use the alcohol intermediary, intermediary method with this, which, you know, honestly, the jury's out on that for me. I know some plants do really, really well with it, but I always end up getting like a little scent and 
I'm not crazy about that. So I'm kind of a purist when it comes to my herbal infused oils. I tend to like just the whole, you know, like one solvent, I guess. Now I know that I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in because it's close enough. I know when you're working with your um, preparations, sometimes we do want to mix solvents, like to make an oxymel. I made an oxymel for you guys a couple weeks ago with honey and vinegar, and I explained in that video why I did that. But uh, sometimes that's a good idea. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> it just kind of depends on what you want to do with uh, with your preparations and why you're doing it, who you're working with. There's a whole lot of factors that go into that, your choices. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and take this chamomile infused oil, get my strainer back over here. Boom, there we go. And over here, get those lids back on in just a second. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this. Oh, I didn't get quite a, I didn't get quite a quarter of a cup of that. Oh, well, that's okay, because I got a little bit extra of the others. So you can see that since I'm not selling these products and I'm giving them away to friends and family or using them for myself, I'm not being super finicky about things here. And um, that's okay. That's, that's absolutely okay for this. So this is a little over two cups. I've, I'm using one, two, three, four, five um, half cups. I've got one and one half cups of my herbal flower infused oil here. And so now we're going to have to do a little, um, little bit of math to figure out how much beeswax we want to have. Let me get myself set up here. Let me get the lid back on these. All right. So here I've got some organic beeswax. And usually what I like, my favorite ratio is uh, one quarter cup of your beeswax to one cup of your infused oils. So we're going to go ahead and, and measure that out. Again, I've got about a one and a half cups right here. Okay, so I've got a one quarter cup measurement here. I'm going to go ahead and scoop out a quarter cup. Now, and actually, I could just uh, do the oil and make the, the salve with this much beeswax, but it's going to be looser than my usual salves are, and I really don't want that. I, I actually like a little bit of a firmer salve, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball and put in about one fourth of a one quarter cup <laughs> measurement here. Okay, and it'll be fine. That's the really nice thing about working with uh, the folk method and and working with different um, kinds of measurements and things is that you can you can be flexible. You can be very very flexible and. Um, you know, if you, you can make adjustments pretty easily. If you make a salve that's not uh, loose enough, that's too firm, you can actually remelt it and add a little bit more oil. If you make a salve that is too loose, you can remelt it and you can add a little more beeswax. <laughs> so it's really uh, nice to be able to do that. So what I'm doing right now is I've got my double boiler. I've got some water in here and I've got my mason jar that you just saw with the herbal infused oils and I've got my beeswax. And I'm just going to let this um, sit in this uh, low simmering water for it usually takes about five or 10 minutes for the beeswax to melt completely. Okay, so our beeswax is completely melted into our infused oil at this point. And now I'm going to go ahead and pour my essential oil blend in. Now this isn't a super high dilution. This is, uh, I, I measured it out to be about 1%. You could go up to a 2% if you wanted to, if you're going to use it like on perf for like perfume or whatever. And actually, if you're using it as perfume on small spots of your body, like your wrist or behind your ears, you can go up to a 10% and I've even, I've even done 20% before. But 
I'm actually planning on uh, having this to be used over larger areas of the body. So I'm sticking with a one to 2%. And what I did with, with this little blend here, and I'm gonna tell you, I, I wanted to get the drops out. So it's so boring watching people count out drops, right? So I'm going to give you um, a recipe, but then I'm going to tell you what I else I did with this. <laughs> and again, this is just going to show how flexible both herbs and essential oils really are. But uh, the recipe, is for lavender 30 drops, geranium 30 drops, Roman chamomile 30 drops, patchouli 30 drops. Don't worry, the patchouli is sweet and it smells beautiful with these flowers. I think it kind of tones down the geranium a little bit. Rose 5 drops and jasmine 10 drops. Now that was a lovely, lovely blend. However, I forgot that I had taken the uh, dropper cap off of my Roman chamomile and when I went to measure it out, it dumped everywhere. So I had to make a few adjustments. <laughs> that was not a good thing. So, um, and, and in smelling this, I decided too that it needed a little spice. So I redid everything and then I went ahead and added um, a few drops of ginger and a few drops of allspice. Ooh, and it's really beautiful. So what I'm going to encourage you here to do is just realize that scent is very personal and you can make adjustments, all right? Um, especially if you're just playing around with the new blend, just put it, you know, get your drops out there. And I kind of like to play with even drops at first and then I can make adjustments if I want to. I'd like to add a little bit more of this scent or less of that scent. If, I've, if I'm blending for scent. If I'm blending therapeutically, um, and then I don't really care as much about the scent, to be honest. I just want it to work. <laughs> like the other day when I when I threw my back out and basically just slathered essential oils all over me that I knew would work. But you don't want to do that. You want to be sure that you've got your stuff ready, which usually I do, but not in this case. I've never thrown my back out before. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get, go ahead and take my essential oils that I've got here and I'm going to pour them into the infused oils stir them up really good yeah this is nice mm. this is going to be a, just a really lovely light smelling flower oil now I want to point something out here. When you're blending your essential oils into an, an herbal infused oil like this, uh, it is really easy to think that you can whip your little stir rod around it a few times and think that the essential oils are dispersed, but that's not the case. Essential oils actually take a few minutes. So um, you'll learn this if you ever start uh, stirring in like one of the blue oils or one of the orange oils or red oils into one of your lotion bases, uh, you're, you're blending it into a white substance. And so when you're doing that, you can see how uh, dispersed the essential oils are because they're colored and you want them to be, you want a, uni a uniform consistency. That's going to go with your liquid oils as well. So you just need to give it a good stir there for a couple minutes. And I'm just going to wipe that off. This is an easy cleanup tip. <laughs> so you want to go ahead and wipe out your jars or wipe off your materials as quickly as you can if you're working with your um, beeswax melted into the oil because otherwise it's hard to clean. And then you just carefully go ahead and pour this into your tins. I'm using two inch tins here. <clears throat> and let's see here, come around over here. Can you guys see that salve? It's just really beautiful. It's not as striking as the comfrey salve with its bright, bright green, but it's still really, really beautiful. I love this. I think it's going to be great. Oh, and I should talk about, oops, made a, little, made a spill there. That's okay. We'll wipe it up. Um, if you do spill, it's not a big deal. This wipes up really easily. Uh, but I wanted to talk with you quickly about sterilization. It is important to sterilize your tins. And if you're working with dropper bottles or things like that, 
go ahead and, and if I'm working with dropper bottles that I'm going to be uh, using the preparation internally, then I use my high proof alcohol, 190 proof alcohol if to sterilize. If I'm doing tins like this, then I just use rubbing alcohol and I just swipe it out and um, let it air dry just to be sure that it's dry. And there we go. Now I'm not gonna touch these. I'm going to just leave them alone because they need to set up. If I move them around while they're setting up, then you're gonna get kind of an ugly salve. <laughs> so there you go. I'll show you a picture of these when it's done. And that's it. So we made a flower infused salve with both herbs and essential oils and it's going to smell delightful and I'm going to be so happy to give this these away to um, my friends and family for Christmas this year. All right, I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. Thanks for being here. Please subscribe. Um, I would love I love likes and comments and shares. If you have any questions, like if I didn't answer everything thoroughly, just ask it in the comments below. My channel is still small enough to where I can answer comments. So I welcome you to please ask your questions and I'm here. Please subscribe to my channel and share share my channel with other people. And by the way, don't forget to get your free items if you haven't already. You can pick up a free guide for how to relax you using herbs and oils down below. I've got a free herbal remedy guide. I've got a free herbal remedies for animals guide. I've got a free herbal steams guide. I've got quite a few other things too. So don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Visit my website, subscribe to my channel, and learn herbalism with me. Fun with flowers, herbal sap, mm, and it smells delightful. It's going to be a really nice one for, for people. All right. I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Herbs Homestead. And I will see you later.